Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, here we have uh, an ASUS laptop. It doesn't turn on at all. It doesn't charge the battery. So in this case, the first thing that you do, as always, you do a physical inspection. And I did check the board uh, all over. There was nothing uh, suspicious. So step number two, you check your charger and uh, I do receive the 19 volts after that what do you do you start from there from the first uh, MOSFET okay here it is this is the first MOSFET and you check the second MOSFET as well but now let's start from the first MOSFET I did check anyway um, we were receiving uh, 19 volts from the first uh, MOSFET from the input of the first uh, MOSFET let me show it to you you connect uh, one probe uh, to a screw hole uh, of which is ground this is a screw hole uh, okay so I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing as well one probe to a screw hole and then starts here we are getting 18 point or 19 19 volts after that let's check the input of the first MOSFET we do get 19 it's obvious now let's check the output of the first MOSFET uh, from the first from the input of the first MOSFET we do get 19 but from the output we are getting 0 0.9 obvious even from the second MOSFET you will get 0 0.9 so in this case what do you do before we change the MOSFET let's confirm if we do have a short or not how to check for shorts you put your multimeter into continuity mode and then from there you check no shorts from the input obvious and from the output there is no shorts as well no shorts no shorts it means the problem is here on the first uh, MOSFET okay where is it okay there it is uh, okay here see this is a, a charging port this is where our 19 volts goes after that it passes through this this uh, three coils or inductors after that it goes to first MOSFET from here on the first MOSFET uh, this thing doesn't allow power to pass it only allows 0. 0.9 uh, mini volt of which it's uh, it's not enough let's quickly remove this uh, MOSFET so what do you need you need a tweezers okay you can put a flux if you don't mind but anyway Okay, let me put a flux here as well and decrease my air. But again, you can remove it without uh, putting flux. I don't see a reason why, but let's just do a good job. Okay, let me put more air. Right now out. So, what do we do now? Let's check. Let's check the first. Uh, you know what? Let's check this MOSFET. Where is it? Here, here it is. Otherwise, let's check under the microscope. I think it's gonna be much more easier. Let's check the sky. You will learn how to check 
MOSFETs Okay, I'm gonna try to focus Okay, anyway uh, There's too much Okay So Okay, it's correct Okay, so now What we need to do Let's touch this tool and let's let's check if it's shorted. Nope. Okay, let's 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 uh, touch again. Okay, let's flip it around. Anyway, guys, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not. The MOSFET doesn't wanna close. So usually when you touch the gate, this is the gate and uh, the other pins, the MOSFET should be MOSFET and um, should be shorted. But here in our case, okay, it's. Uh, okay, let's test. Let's just do a quick test. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, see if I see now it's all over. Mm -hmm. Let's jump this guy before we change the MOSFET. I want to check something. Let's jump this guy. Okay. Let's jump it before we even change it. Let's check if the laptop will power on. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I want to jump this easy. You don't run away. Okay, done. Uh, this is just temporal. See how ugly it is. Anyway, let's check for continuity from uh, from here. Take from here to here. Oh shit! This is shorted, guys. The second MOSFET, it's uh, it's shorted. Okay. means this is not touching here because it doesn't beep okay you know what let's just use a hit gun it's simple Let's do a trick one more time. 
so we would touch from here since this is shorted and then from here now there is a continuity okay the 19 volts will pass but, uh, but again the second MOSFET is shorted it's shorted guys I'll rectify this mistake and I'll, I'll change all of this MOSFET but for now okay it's turning on uh, let's wait for a display and we do have a display it's now working the problem was the the MOSFET okay guys uh, yeah so what I did was okay let me show you under the microscope I did replace both uh, MOSFETs but the problem was the problem was the second MOSFET it was short set as you can see this is the first MOSFET and this is the the second MOSFET after that the PC started to work fine it's no no problem no faulty but anyway I hope you are learning let's put back everything okay 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 guys now let's check okay we do get the charging light now let's press the button and it's turning on hope you can see the display where is it here ASAS it's turning on it's working yep it's loading the operating system let me show you uh, okay there it is 